Hey there, story lovers. Welcome back to another chapter of our enchanting tale. Today, we're diving into chapter two, where the sun casts a warm golden hue over the quaint town of Plymouth. The air is thick with the comforting scent of cinnamon and roasted chestnuts. Evie Parker stands at the threshold of Grandma Mabel's cozy cottage, her heart racing with anticipation. The old wooden door creaks open, revealing Grandma Mabel, her silver hair cascading like a waterfall of moonlight, her eyes twinkling with the wisdom of ages. Come in, my dear, she beckons, her voice a soothing balm against the chill of uncertainty. So, buckle up as we journey deeper into this captivating story. Inside Grandma Mabel's cottage, the atmosphere is a tapestry of memories. Shelves are lined with dusty tomes and trinkets that whisper stories of the past. Evie feels a familiar warmth envelop her as she settles into the worn armchair, its fabric soft and inviting. Tommy Hayes lingers by the window, his bright blue eyes scanning the vibrant autumn landscape, a frown etched upon his brow. The whispers of the pine tree have ignited a fire within Evie, a determination to unearth the truths hidden beneath the surface of their quaint town. Grandma, what can you tell us about the whispering pine? Evie's voice trembles with eagerness. Grandma Mabel's gaze turns serious, her fingers tracing the edges of a faded photograph. Ah, the tree is more than just wood and needles, my dear. It holds the echoes of our past, the laughter and the tears of those who came before us. It urges us to confront what we often bury deep within our hearts. Tommy shifts uncomfortably, skepticism clouding his features. But what if those memories are too painful? What if they tear the town apart? His voice is a whisper, laced with fear. Grandma Mabel's eyes soften, understanding the weight of his words. Sometimes, my boy, healing begins with acknowledging our pain. The tree does not wish to harm. It seeks to unite us through our shared stories. As the children listen, the air thickens with the weight of unspoken grievances. Evie feels a stirring within her, a call to action. She envisions the townsfolk gathered around the tree, their faces illuminated by the flickering light of understanding. But outside, the shadow of Mayor Collins looms large, his voice echoing through the streets, rallying those who fear the past. We must not disturb the peace we have built, he proclaims, his sharp suit a stark contrast to the warmth of the autumn leaves. Jasmine Rivera, a fierce advocate for change, stands defiantly against Mayor Collins, her dark braid whipping in the wind. But what peace is built on silence? We owe it to ourselves to confront our history. The divide within the community deepens, and Evie feels the tension crackle in the air like static before a storm. As the sun dips below the horizon, casting long shadows across the town square, Evie and Tommy exchange glances, their resolve solidifying. They will not shy away from the whispers any longer. They will gather the stories, confront the past, and prepare for the pivotal town hall meeting that looms ahead. The echoes of the past are calling, and together, they will answer.